Some of you may remember her, because actually some of you may remember that there was a tragic accident recently. A tragic auto wreck which, which required extensive plastic surgery. She was a burn victim. Some of you may recognize her, some of you may not. And this is a reason why I think she doesn't want to be introduced. She doesn't want to shock her fans by showing herself in a way that's unrecognizable. Let me just say that it is her aura that stands triumphant in this. No, I'm not talking about Eileen Brennan. Let me bring her out. Will you please welcome to the decoupage set for a very exclusive comeback appearance, my very, very special guest. to decoupage. I'm so glad you ventured out today. <coughs> thrilled to be here. Well, we are thrilled to have you. And look at that beautiful crown. But tell me, who is your doctor? You look gorgeous. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. The tissues are still settling. Oh, that's right. You're, you're still healing from that accident. Still huh? at this time. What accident? Oh, my life. Oh, you still have your sense of humor. Well, thank God for that, and you are bearing this heat tonight so well. You're holding yourself together. But let me ask you this, darling. I know, I don't want to get too personal, but I know you have been through so much. You have, you have, oh, you've survived. You, you could act as such an example and inspiration to my viewers. That I'm asking, perhaps you might let us know the details of the accident. How did you cope? How did you deal? Well, that's none of your goddamn business. <laughs> <laughs> I got her! I got her! <laughs> I got her! Look! You are still... I'm just kidding. I love to see you sweat, honey. Oh, I <laughs> am. Unfortunately, we're both sweating tonight. Come on! My life's an open pair of legs. Whoops! Can I say that on TV? Oh, you can <laughs> say anything on decoupage. <laughs> All right, just let me say... I got waylaid in Detroit. <laughs> waylaid. <laughs> well, you are still as spunky as hell. Well, somewhere between Nipsey and Slappy, I got sloppy. <laughs> now, these must be your ex-husbands, I imagine. They are? You're right. Are they here with us tonight? Oh, you mean Nipsey and Slappy and oh, yeah. Sloppy. Oh, you have more ex-husbands in the audience, then. Well, I don't want to brag. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You are uh, just a can-can girl. You just go so far. Now, tell me, this, this time with Nipsey and Slappy, now, was this the, your Vegas years that you... Don't do about? it to me now. You, God, you know how to hurt me. Well, I hate to go back to those days. Well, if you don't want to talk about God, it... That old could... gang of mine, now you got me worked up. Well, if you don't want to talk about oh, anything please. on Deco Ponce, you Let's don't have to. back. Let's but you go want back to. Through the years to Joey and Jaime and Henny and Lenny and Maury, are you out there? <laughs> Maury, I'm losing it here. Who was with me then? Was it Sammy Davis? Maury! Pinky! Pinky, Pinky! Pinky. Oh, right. I think I remember that. <laughs> but who was your favorite most of all? Well, you know, I got to say, Stinky. I don't recall. Stinky Long, the mighty strong, we called him. You know, they don't build him like that anymore. You heard of the Rat Pack, honey? Oh, of course. Ah, we made him look like Cub Scouts. You we did now. We would call the Swat Pack. We would snort all day and drink all night and hop in the shower and snort some more. There was a job to do in those days. <laughs> did I say unpredictable, or did I? You know something? I don't understand all this health crap today. I mean... But you look so wonderful. Well, you, you only got one life to burn up, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. I got some health tonic here. Mari, some more health tonic here. Well, now... 
I was going to offer you a Seago, but I see you're already in good spirits. Well, I'm so. fine, Maury. Well, now, tell me this. During this time, this period of wild abandon, this period where you were just out of control in Las Vegas. Yeah. Night and day, up for days. <sighs> there was one wonderful thing that happened to you, wasn't there? There was there a was? shining light. Mm -hmm. Well, I believe there was a real shining light in your life, something that, that kind of burst forth in that period. You mean the rip? Well... I know what you're talking about, the light of my rotten life, the rip heard around the world. I think that's it. My little girl. I've been ripped ever since. Ah! 